sell everything and follow me. That's a quote from the Bible that Jesus spoke. He basically told someone to take an extreme course of action, to sell everything and follow me. And like some things in the Bible, people take it literally and extremism is formed. The other day I saw someone in the Walmart parking lot basically just being like a street preacher and being very radical and extreme and everyone needs to repent and going through this whole thing. Uh, I'm not going to say I disagreed with everything he said, but I certainly disagree with the extremism. I certainly see how people with mental disabilities uh, get caught into extremism because obviously he had some type of mental issues. And it's sad because that kind of like washes out good faith because to me, that's a very much of a turnoff to religion because it could really hurt people. Uh, but at the same time, faith and some religious teachings can really help people. And so I think about, you know, that quote, you know, as I'm a minimalist at this season of my life, I pretty much sold everything. But not to follow Jesus per se, even though there's a season of my life where I was in the church, I studied the Bible and a variety of scripture, scriptures, I sold everything to change my life. And to follow what was inside my spirit. There was a, a person I was watching on YouTube, uh, the Ultimate Warrior, who became a motivational speaker. He used to be a wrestler. And when I was going through my 30s and I was trying to figure out what's next in my life, he kept kind of bringing home the point that we have the ability to make decisions to change our life. But we start to think that we can't change our life, that we're stuck in the life that we either got seduced into or slipped into or made bad decisions into. You can literally change your life by selling your house. And that may not be a bad thing. But don't sell it because a preacher or, or don't even sell it because the Bible says it. Don't say, sell your house because I say it. Don't do anything because anyone says it. But think about your life. Think about are you happy with your life? Think about what is inside you. The scriptures say that God is inside us. So you don't really need someone else to tell you about God. You can pretty much go on a journey of self-discovery, okay? Because that's really spiritual and that's godly. So, and you should do that without abuse of alcohol or drugs. Because I do believe that that clouds your decision-making and your spirit. You know, it's like your body's the temple, your mind. Now, again, there's some supplemental drugs for people who have certain mental problems, per se, or physical. So... Again, even that, there's not an exact science. But back to my statement where we're trying to figure out who we are and we need to be sober-minded in understanding what we want out of life, okay? And then we have to figure out, well, what decisions can I make to change my life? And I said, well, if I liquidate a lot of my assets, okay, and if I get flexible and if I continue to do the things I need to do for my life and maintain an income, I can empower myself by living below my means, by not having a lot of attachments to change the course of my life. And that's what I did, you know, uh, went from New Jersey to Florida. I never wanted to aimlessly travel. Pretty much Florida was it for me. I never wanted to try to prove I'm a survivalist. That To me, it's not about that. It, was, it wasn't about anyone else. It wasn't about a pastor. It wasn't about trying to be someone. It wasn't even trying about, it wasn't even trying to be about this famous uh, YouTube person. And I'm not famous per se. And, you know, for me, YouTube was just a way to possibly make side income. Okay. And I always had the gift to communicate. So I figured, give it a shot. Bottom line, that's pretty much what it was. So along that journey, I said to myself, I'm changing my life. And I did. And I said to myself, Am I happier now than I than when I was sitting in my house in New Jersey? The answer is yes. Uh, am I totally content? Well, I'm content, but there's always something else. You know, I think about now, do I want to buy a house? Do I want to stay on the road, right? So there's always something else. But I would say I made the right decision for me, for me. So if you're debating in life, should you sell your house? And I always say, look, if you're not inspired where you live, if you can sell and live below your means and you have a plan to get to somewhere else, and it'll depend if you have kids or something, then yeah, take an action plan. The message of this video is don't do something because the Bible says it, or I say it, or anyone. The thing is, you can change your life.
by making decisions, okay, and you take your time with your decisions, you're on your own timetable. You know, you can take forever, you know, but I always tell you, I'm quick to sell, slow to buy. Uh, for me, as a single person with no pets, no kids, I have that luxury. Now, some people with a family, they don't have that much of a luxury, but I looked at it as, look, if I sell my house, okay, it was too big for me. It was probably a little bit, you know, I wanted to get below my means. It was either at, it was at my means. Okay. So I said, let me sell my condo. I don't want to live in New Jersey. Worst case ha scenario. Okay. I, I rent for a little bit or whatever until I get to Florida and, and I figure it out because I'm single with no kids. I have the luxury, but I, I said to myself, the risk reward is worth it because I want out of here. Okay. And so, but now I'm kind of slow to buy. I'm hesitant. Why? You know, because I could kind of keep doing what I'm doing without a lot of attachments. So I'm not saying what I'm doing now is a long-term strategy, but I want to share with you for your situation. I don't know it. Okay. And I can't tell you what to do, but I can tell you that you can make decisions to change your life, whether you're 49, 59, 29. The younger you are, secure your income, okay, whatever it's going to be, look at your expenses, make your income above your expenses, have that gap surplus, okay, have your assets somewhat liquid, okay, and start to go from there. And you're going to get pushback from your family, from people online. I mean, that's one thing I'm struggling with now as I'm becoming like this internet personality, and I don't, is that you're dealing with people who think differently than me and having to process that without answering to everyone, you know, cause in my life I've always kind of just answered to myself cause I've been single with no kids. I got into a big disagreement with my father cause he disagreed with my decisions to sell my house and how I was approaching it. And I didn't tell him. And I was like, look, I don't, I'm not asking anyone for, I'm doing me, you know, even on this channel and no one has to watch. Right. Cause I, I always said to myself, look, and no one watches, I turn it off. Uh, I give it a, a certain period of time. If it doesn't work out, do something else. So, you know, look, you know, it's like when you have more people to answer to, it's tougher, you know, and uh, I don't really don't have anyone to answer to, but as a YouTuber, you know, th there's comments that people have different perspectives than mine and I don't have to reply to them. I can block them. And most of them I do. Why? Because this is how I want to run my channel, my life. But I understand that there's other people out there with other philosophies. But, you know, my view on it is then they should go make decisions for them, whether they create their own channel or live their own life. You know, but I understand that change is very intimidating to those who want to change but can't. And so there's a projection on you on how you should change to fit their reality or what they want their reality to be. And what I can tell you is this, you can change your life. You can't change other people. That is the message. Don't do anything because anyone says it. Do it because it comes from within you. And it's the healthiest thing for you. And those who love you, even if they really don't agree with you, as long as you're not hurting anyone, will support you. And be ready because some won't. Peace.